In today's quick Photoshop tutorial, you are going to learn how to perfect text and proper text spacing in Adobe Photoshop. So let's begin. But before we dive into the tutorial, if you find this guide useful and you're very new to this channel, remember click on that subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more tutorial about Photoshop tips. So with that being said, let's get started. Welcome back to this video. So let's see how to perfect text and line spacing in Photoshop. Okay. So the very first thing we want to do is to come down below right here. We make sure we make a new layer. Then after we make a new layer, we'll go to our pipe tool. We click and hold down. Then we choose horizontal type. Next thing we can do is to come to the top right here. We can simply choose the font type that we want to use. So I'm going to use Roboto. Then you can choose from the font family right here. So I'm going to use Roboto Medium. Then you can simply come here, the font size. So I'm going to put it in. 30 pt okay then we come to the workspace here i will make it type so text spacing okay now if we want to properly give this particular text a kind of spacing that will not mess up around with the text what we need to do first is to simply Make sure we press Ctrl A just to align everything. So just to highlight all the text, or better still, you can just drag all over the text this way with your mouse. Then it's going to highlight on everything. Then the next thing you need to do is to come to the top right here, click on Type. Then from Type, you have to go to Panel. Then from Panel, go to Character Panel. Then this is going to pump up. Now you want to space in the text. Next thing you need to do is to come to V here right here. So V here here allow you to track and select and, and uh, V here here allow you to give text a kind of spacing. Then you can simply sl slide it this way. So the more you slide, the more you have spacing in your text. You can also come here and make use of the percentage from here. Let's put it in 100%. So we'll take a look at it. If you are not satisfied with 100%, take it to 200%. Boom. So if you are not satisfied with 200%, you can begin to increase it the more and more you want it. Okay. So until you are satisfied with the spacing, then that is when you can leave it. If you want to return back to your normal spacing, just come back here and take it to zero. It's as simple as that. It takes everything back to zero. Then another thing you can do here, you can subtract the spacing. Let's for instance, we want all this text here to move closer more than this. So we can start from the 25%. So take a look at it. The text will move more closer. So we can take it back to 75%. It's moving more closer. So we can leave it in 100%. It's move more closer. We can use this slider right here and take it back. So this is depends on how we want everything to be. So if we want to take everything back to normal space, we we'll click on here and take it back to zero. Then everything will move back to normal space. Alternatively, we can decide to spacing one part of a text and leave the rest of the text on spacing. For us to do that, we we'll simply come back to our type right here. Let's say from spacing right here. So from spacing, then I will just make sure I use my mouse to, to select only spacing right here. So I will just click and hold down. Then only spacing was selected. Then I'll come back here to fill here. Then I can put it in 50%. So you can see only spacing here is move while the text does not move. I can simply take it back to 100%. So I can simply take it from 100% to uh, back to like 200%. It's as simple as that. So while the text left on touch and we only space the, uh, the spacing text and the spacing here is giving us a kind of a uh, accuracy as you can see right here so this is how to perfect text and line spacing in photoshop i hope you really got value for this video if you find this video useful give this video a big like and also remember to subscribe to the channel for more tutorial about photoshop tricks thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye for now